enemies. Every game has them, and Cult of Lamb is a host to many. So today, I decided to test my skill by not attacking a single one. Something like a pacifist challenge. The simple rules are that I can't use any of my curses or weapons to hurt any enemy. So to do this challenge, I hired the help of a demon in game. I'm not that desperate yet. There are multiple different demons that have special skills, but before I could get their help, I have to set up some proper offerings. So I have to unlock this right here, Demon Summoning Circle. Already unlock four, and then three, four, five, and then six. So I need to unlock six things, which kind of sucks because one out of 13, this is gonna take for a little ever. I'm gonna speed things up. I'm gonna pass time by meditating. Bam. Yeah, there's just pretty much this for like the next three hours. On the brink of destruction of my cult, I finally unlocked it, the Demonic Summoning Circle. Actually, can I even afford this? Yes, I've unlocked it. The demon summoning circle. God damn it, I don't even have enough stone. Okay, give me a second. Put it right here. It's easy to access before a crusade. And then, boom. So, I'm able to summon a demon, which will help me fight in my crusade. Which makes it where I don't have to attack. So, technically, I'm not hurting anybody. I think I'll actually go for the shooting guy. Because I think the bomb takes a while to respawn after he blows up. And then let's go on our first crusade. I have my little bow and arrow pet. See, it's already shooting at things. And then have at it. Shoot it again. Shoot him. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty much gonna be that. And we already passed this far. So it's only, oh sweet, and a disease heart. This actually helps because damage everything on screen when hit. So that's an extra damage dealer for when I don't want to wait three years. Here we go. And then now when I go back, I'll be able to level up this guy. So I'll have, I don't know if he shoots faster or hits harder, but I think I shoot faster. So I won't have to wait three days for him to shoot some moron sitting in front of me. Shoot him. There he goes. And now it's boss time room. Very far. Okay, come on, Pokemon time, man. Freaking shoot him. Okay, his attack shouldn't be that hard, but this damage is uh, concerning. Especially when he's shooting when he's jumping. And why is he only jumping once? This is so weird. He's doing like these stupid mix-ups for me like I'm actually fighting him. Like obviously my lackey is fighting him. They want to bring their lackeys in? I'll bring mine. <laughs> you could do it bow and arrow buddy. Whatever his name was before I transformed him. This is actually so freaking... He saved me! Let's get out of here. Nice! Freaking little bow and arrow pal for the win. And this is the biggest problem. Every time they transform, they become exhausted. So I cannot use him for my next crusade. So I might have to use the bomb guy. Okay, what's good is this guy's exhaustion went away like instantly. And then let's prepare for our next crusade. Um, I think I mix it up. I try the bomb. There we go. Weird little bomb, angry bird looking thing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wait for this guy to come up. He should blow him up. <laughs> and then he should fly back in a few seconds. Where the hell is this guy? Here he is. I think when you enter a new room then. Yeah, see, there's... There's multiple enemies. He should come back, right? Okay, so the bomb was not the way to go. <laughs> so let's get back this guy. P Pinoti? Pinoti? Pinocchio? I don't know. I guess you could call him Pinocchio. Like, that's his nose and like... It extends or something. Let's... Let's just go back to fighting in dungeons. Now this is a more consistent shooter. Okay, boss room time. Should be that hard? Cause you just stand still. I just need to sit at a distance and shoot at him. Oh my god, this is doing no damage. I'm gonna freaking die of boredom before this guy dies. Oh shoot! Shoot him! Why is this guy doing this? He just sits still randomly. Shoot him! Shoot him! Show him. <gasps> oh my gosh, what the frick? Oh, there goes my 50% bonus. There we go, halfway mark. Ooh, I'm gonna fall asleep. I should be able to get this done, so... Shoot him! Yes! Freaking fighting Leshy is gonna make me jump off a cliff. <laughs> It's gonna take forever. After we got back, let's perform that ritual. The fact that I could have to get this one, I would do this one, but come on guys, it's a pacifist run. It can't hurt anybody, not even my own followers. So evil of you guys to think that. But now, bam. See, like you said, I can level up my followers to get a stronger demon summoning circle. So first we're gonna look for that one guy. I don't know his name. Bless him. I should level him up right now. 
God damn it. I could set a doctor in, which will actually level that guy up. So I want to get work and worship, and then get the faithful trait, which will make them make devotion faster, which I'll be able to upgrade my demon summoning circle faster. And then also, <laughs> we could unlock the tabernacle, which will help us make more devotion. <laughs> Won't lag my game at all. Okay, so Pinoti and Pinoy are better right now. I think I could go on another crusade. Pinoti? Yeah, shoot cooldown decrease. So he should shoot faster. How fast does this guy shoot? Eh, he shoots kind of okay. I just need to level him up to like, like level 100. And shoot like a machine gun. And then shoot them. Shoot them! And then I just need to do that. Oh, here we go. Fisherman. So I might leave to go fish to get his fleece. Because I cannot right now with this boring fact. Two and a half till the boss room. Oh, boss room. <laughs> Should be able to do this. It'll just take forever. Okay. Shoot him! Oh my god, that is abysmal damage. And this guy's over there doing whatever. <laughs> he's not even shooting at the right enemy. I think he's spawning lackeys after that shot. Yep, okay. I was like, why did he stop randomly in a move? But that's why. Maybe I just keep next to him. Oh shoot. Because there's more of the lackeys will attack me when he's when I'm trying to attack him. <laughs> I'm actually almost halfway there. That's the that's the weirdest part. Why is he all right? Oh, never mind. That's actually bad because I'm really low on health right now. I think it's gonna actually start getting hectic from here. Yeah, he's gonna start smashing his head like a lunatic. I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it! I'm so low on health. Shoot him. Okay, nice. He got glitched. So I shouldn't have to deal with those enemies. I just hate how he keeps doing this wave attack. I can't get damage in when he's doing it, too. That actually hit me? If I die, I'm gonna be so mad. Shoot him, please! Please! This guy's... Oh my god, one more shot, one more shot, one more shot! Yes! Yes! My freaking heart! Let's go! This guy, I want to strangle him in his non-existing neck. He just doesn't shoot, he just stares at it and watches me die! He has some cynical, evil joy in me getting the crap beat out of myself. See, look how happy they are that I freaking beat Leshy. Then, I'll have to build up sustenance right now, so I could get fishing one and something else that I need. And now, while I wait to get all those doctor and stuff, I'm just gonna fish in the meantime. God damn it, the stupid medium fish. Oh, oh my god, it actually gave me something good. Thank you, medium fish. And then I could instantly trade it in for a fragment. Fish hooking me up. A crab. After getting lucky with my fish, I just continue unlocking things that I need, getting all the doctrines to unlock cannibal trait and ocean's bounty. Then after performing ocean's bounty, just raked in all the fish, so I could trade it for a holy pendant to unlock a fleece. So first, let's get our fleece. Gain a diseased heart every time a tarot card is drawn, but become poison after taking damage. Maximum of one diseased heart at a time. Unlock this. And this pretty much means I'll have a constant flow of diseased heart. And then to add on to that, darkness within, receive a diseased heart at the beginning of each crusade run. So no having to get a tarot card to get one, which is extra nice. Well, in the meantime, I have enough to make a second version of Demon Summoning Circle. So let's do Panodi and then Panoin as the other one. Okay, let's go on a crusade. And then with my nine followers, I'll unlock Anchor Deep. This is because I want to meet an NPC, which will unlock a location for me. So this should be easier because this guy will blow up one and the other guy should shoot way faster. Okay, but no damage to him. This, these guys hit like nothing. Oh my gosh. I need a sword guy. I think the sword guy hits harder. Okay, there goes one, and then the other one should drop soon. There you go. Okay, this is gonna take forever. And I died, okay. Okay, throw your bomb, please. Blown the smithereens. <laughs> Where did my heart thing go? What the frick? I think it went up to get a heart. And it's the boss room, so he'll supply drop it randomly in the middle of fighting Salios. Okay, this is a bad fight, because then he spawns lackeys. Though he is beating the crap out of me. I don't know how he is, but... I just need to kill this freaking lack, Dude, this guy's actually wailing on me. And my little lackey guy went to get hearts. That's good. I don't know why that attack keeps getting me. And this moron doesn't know how to hit anything. <laughs> Damn it! I got hit because I was trying to grab that heart. Okay, I killed... Okay, there we go. Both lackeys are down, so I could just focus on this guy. No! Damn it! I was too close for to him. Ouch! Screw you! <laughs> 
Oh my god, that took way longer than I thought it would. And let's let this guy in. Please, Salio, be a sword. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Big money, big money. Yes! Yes! He has a sword! So let's do this. Level up, level two. So then to get ready for my next crusade, I will get Pinoti and then Salios. Okay, and then we're just gonna head on in. Cause I don't know how much enemies this guy spawns in. Oh, he shoots a ton of projectiles. Sheesh. Doing a number on this guy. Oh my gosh. I sacrificed myself to get some damage in, especially since I'm constantly getting hit. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> oh my god, these exploding enemies are making Anchor Deep so much better. And back into Anchor Deep. Oh, here we go. Plimbo! Okay, I don't care what this guy has to say, but he unlocks Smuggler Sanctuary, which will provide me two cards that are very good to this challenge. Bazelbub. Oh my gosh, Bazelbub is not messing around with those projectiles. But neither I am with the sword and this damage. Oh my gosh. The only problem is I have to be so close for the sword to do anything. He's already half health, which is nice. I'm taking so much hits, but I don't care because he's about to lose. Stop him! <laughs> then we got what we wanted. Okay, we're gonna go to Smuggler Sanctuary, and then we want to get two cards. Drop an explosive when you roll, and drop Black Iker when you roll. Because technically speaking, I'm not doing anything. I'm just rolling. They're walking into the bomb. And then let's finish up this anchor date. Ooh, this one. The bomb, I got both of them. Okay, that's absolutely really good. This at least shouldn't be as bad as Leshy fight, since that one took decades. So I'm gonna focus on dodging. And I get hit instantly. The bomb is gonna. There we go. That bomb did not get him. Oh my gosh. And he's like just. Every time I get close to him, he just stabs me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so fast. This is unreal. Come on, any hearts in the grass, please? And he hit me! <gasps> oh my god, there's two half hearts in the grass. And I have a. I don't, I don't know why I gained so much health actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on staying alive as he spawns a thousand enemies and just hits me after I dodge. This is so bad. I just can't get in like enough time for him to attack. God, he, he attacked randomly! This, this is actually unreal. Half heart clutch again. I'm actually more shocked than happy. I thought I was gonna lose that and I was gonna be sad. Oh, and I could get a heart thing too. So I'm gonna get the hunger. So before I leave, I wanna make a mince follower meat, then eat it. Delicious. <laughs> That'll give me two disease hearts. And we're, we're gonna do this one. Because then we want to find another NPC that will sell us some good cards. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to fight one of my followers, I think. Aron. This guy's getting it. This freaking moron. <laughs> Get it? Look at him, he can't even walk properly. Poor fight at that. Wow, it's not cool, man. You have to pay for your just... Just justice in action is what I was trying to say. Like you guys saw him, he attacked me first. <laughs> I didn't even lay a finger on him. Then Focala. What the frick? You just spawned like six spiders. Then spawn in the Iker. What a moron. Ow. Guess we got two morons on board. So intense. Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting hit. I'm not supposed to be What am I doing? <laughs> okay, let's wait for him to hit down and then do it. Ouch. There we go. That poisons him. He keeps going up. Why does he keep doing that? Really poison. See, he literally just. Oh my gosh! I'm low on health, and he's low on health. Come on, just shoot him once! Why does he keep going up? Oh my god. Thank you! Thank you! What are you doing, freaking Taleos? God, I need a third guy so bad. Like, these guys are actually brain dead. What the heck is this? Oh! Oh, Minus Cave! Okay, this is what I actually came in here for. So nice. Unlock Minus Cave. I'll come back for this after the crusade. And boss fight time. It is, oh, the caterpillar. Shouldn't be that hard. It's just worrying about the lackeys, that's all. As I instantly get hit. I need to just follow in front of him, so the sword keeps attacking him. I think he's just doing like a figure eight, because he keeps just going in like circles. I think he does follow me when he goes up against a wall, what the hell? So much is happening. Go on, say, Leo, spoil your weight. There we go. <laughs> what a stupid fight. <laughs> Okay, and now that we got that, I'm gonna head over to Midas Cave, and then I wanna buy Iker Earned, drop Black Iker when hit, and then Burning Dead, dead enemy bodies explode, damaging other enemies. Should be fine, now, especially since we never find tarot card dealers. Oh, I have so many cards, they're not from tarot card dealers. Can't believe that bomb got him on the first thing. Boom. <laughs> Nine, ten. Suck on that. Oh, and the bomb didn't even hit him, I think. Oh my gosh. I'm getting beat up, but I should easily get this. 
<laughs> there he goes, he just randomly attacked him. Okay, so right now we just unlocked Cult 4, which is pretty nice, because after this, we have Demonic Summoning Circle. And I think I can unlock it already. God damn it, more than enough. <laughs> So now, Demon in Summoning Circle 3, upgraded Demonic Summoning Circle, summon three demons at a time. Get Saleos on, then Panodi. Where's the bomb guy? I think he died. <laughs> what the frick? I think he died. So, ulti for the hearts, I guess. Okay, and then for my final quest, back into Silk Cradle. And we're just here to fight the boss, that's really all. Look, and my little heart pet thing went off to get a heart. So that's good to know that I'll have healing. Alright, place a bomb. Bam. There's another bomb. Hit him twice with the bomb. Oh. How did that hit me? Good thing this, this, How is it hitting me? What are these monsters doing, man? Well, he's already halfway, so... Or they already halfway. I love how these lackeys are just broken. Their AI is terrible. Place a bomb! Sweet, he jumped into it! One last hit! That actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Then just next is an aura. Mini celebration, I guess. Don't really care for this, because I'm just gonna go back over here and chuck them back into the gauntlet. And then this one should be easier, because this is like an earlier floor. Oh no, they still take crud damage. Good thing I didn't. Good thing I didn't come here first. What the frick? I just found the boss room. It's pretty fast too. It was like right after a tarot card. So I should be able to beat Goosian pretty easily. Maybe I chose the wrong guys, because then. Freaking, they dealt more damage to like the last boss I just fought than this guy. <laughs> I'm just sitting on him and taking shots right now. Good thing there's hearts in here, so whatever damage this guy dealt deals is nothing. There we go. Maybe I just had high expectations for the damage I deal here, because this is a second room. So once again, going into a Nora for yes, boss. Oh, what the heck? Well, this is what I was looking for to get Spore Grotto. There's one little card here I could get, only one. What the frick? Why are they shooting at them? I should leave so they stop getting killed. Okay, and on to the boss fight with uh, Eligos. It shouldn't be- oh my gosh. It shouldn't be that hard of a boss, right? Are you serious? Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I at least got this mushroom thingy, my lovers. Hello? Ugh! I did not mean to buy this card. I was trying to skip his stupid dialogue. I meant to buy this one, Blazing Trail. Rolling into enemies will damage them. Freaking stupid scammer mushroom. Take two. Hopefully this time, since I have more disease hearts, I don't get my butt handed. That hit was obviously on purpose. <laughs> God damn this thing. Okay, this has to be some cruel joke right now. <laughs> Why does this guy always attack the bees and not the frickin' stupid flying huge thing? There he goes. At least the shooty guy is like killing the bugs for me. Hit him. And he goes- he just- he doesn't even attack them, what is he doing? And I walked straight into that. I should be able to get this soon. Maybe if the sword hits him? Shoot him! Thank you. Frickin' the sword guy is pissing me off. Say, Leos, I'm gonna strangle you when I get back. I'm trying to look for that guy that died, the bomb one. I know it was something with a P. Wait, what the frick? I didn't see this guy earlier. I think it was him, because I remember it was with a P. So I can use him instead of the heart so I can deal more damage. Bomb, sword, and bone arrow. How fast this room could be cleared. <laughs> really nice, because the bomb just blew up like all of them. So I need it for every room, instantly get them to group together, or just have one enemy. Nice, this should be way easier now, I'm happy. Zepar. There goes the bomb, nice. It like chunked half his health already, so that's really nice actually. I'd say this guy is kinda hard because then he keeps jumping, so my freaking idiotic lackeys aren't attacking him. There we go. One more shot and it should be yeah. <laughs> that was actually really good. I might keep the bomb more instead of the hearts, because I'm not trying to sit here for six days. And then we are going to make mince follower meat, and then two for disease hearts. And then that should be all the setup I need, so let's go and murder that gross looking frog. Rolling into enemies will damage them. I'm actually gonna take that. That's actually super good. Oh, what the frick? The bomb blew him up. I was like, what the hell just happened? And you release these guys without hurting them? Okay, and the sword just took takes all my glory. Shut up, Hecate. Already got one down. Oh my god, this blazing trail is insane. Damn it! I should have gotten it in the very start. I didn't think it'd be that good. But now we are fighting Hackat. Should be pretty easy because I have this blazing trail. Oh, and they're like an immovable object, so I can just dodge into them. <laughs> oh my god, this is probably like the fastest boss fight right now. What the hell? I was doing so good they had the run. 
There we go. I need to kill the two big guys. Okay, back to wailing on Hecate. She is in for an early death. <laughs> nice. Blazing Trail is so good. This is probably the last time I'll see these goofballs, because I need to... 13. Hopefully I have 7 followers in this right now. So let's accept all of them. So let's see. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then here's my 7th. Okay, so we do have enough. Then go here and perform my ritual. Let's see, we got a little bow and arrow pet. Let's grab this sword. Let's grab these fireballs. And let's bring Pinocchio with me. I forgot his name as soon as I remembered it. Then kneel to be sacrificed. As a true pacifist, I shall lay down my life. I mean, are you sure? The hell was that noise? <laughs> and then I shall just die. What a shit ending. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can pass this cult to the lamb, and this is proof. Давай, давай, микрофон пари.